a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Nikki Haley Nimrata, Nikki Haley is an American politician who currently serves as the 29th United States Ambassador to the United Nations. A Republican, she served as the 116th Governor of South Carolina and is a former member of the South Carolina House of Representatives. Haley was the first female governor of South Carolina and the second Indian American, after Bobby Jindal, to serve as a governor in the United States. During the 2012 presidential campaign, Republican nominee Mitt Romney considered Haley as a potential vice presidential running mate, though Haley said that she would turn down any offer due to her position as governor. She delivered the official Republican response to President Barack Obama's 2016 State of the Union address on January 12, 2016. On November 23, 2016, President-elect Donald Trump nominated Haley for the position of U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, which Haley accepted. Haley was confirmed by the Senate in a 96-4 vote and was subsequently sworn in on January 25, 2017. In 2016, Haley was named among the 100 most influential people by Time magazine as ambassador to the United Nations. She affirmed the United States' willingness to use military force in response to further North Korean missile tests in the wake of the 2017 North Korea crisis. Haley's tenure as ambassador was noted for its high degree of visibility. On October 9, 2018, Haley announced her resignation, effective at the end of 2018. Early Life Haley was born Nimrata Antoy in Bamberg, South Carolina to an Indian-American Sikh family. She has always been called, Nikki, by her family. Her father, Arjit Singh Randhoa, and her mother, Rajkwar Randhoa, emigrated from Amritsar district, Punjab, India. Her father was formerly a professor at Punjab Agricultural University, and her mother received her law degree from the University of Delhi. Haley's parents moved to Canada after her father received a scholarship offer from the University of British Columbia. When her father received his PhD degree in 1969, he moved his family to South Carolina, where he accepted a position as a professor at historically Black Voorhees College. Her mother, Raj Randhoa, earned a master's degree in education and taught for seven years in the Bamberg Public Schools before starting a clothing company. Exotica International, in 1976. When Haley was five years old, her parents attempted to enter her in the Miss Bamberg contest. The contest traditionally crowned a black queen and a white queen. Since the judges decided Haley did not fit either category, they disqualified her. Haley has two brothers, Mitty, a retired member of the United States Army Chemical Corps who served in Desert Storm, and Charon, a web designer. She has one sister, Simran, a radio host and Fashion Institute of Technology alumna, who was born in Canada. At age 12, Haley began helping with the bookkeeping in her mother's ladies' clothing shop, Exotico International. In 1989, Haley graduated from Orangeburg Preparatory Schools. Career After graduating from Clemson University, Haley worked for FCR Corporation, a waste management and recycling company, before joining her family's clothing business. She later became Exotica International's controller and chief financial officer. Haley was named to the board of directors of the Orangeburg County Chamber of Commerce in 1998. She was named to the board of directors of the Lexington Chamber of Commerce in 2003. Haley became treasurer of the National Association of Women Business Owners in 2003, and president in 2004. She chaired the Lexington Gala to raise funds for the local hospital. She also served on the Lexington Medical Foundation, Lexington County Sheriff's Foundation, and West Metro Republican Women. She was the president of the South Carolina chapter of the National Association of Women Business Owners, and was chair for the 2006 Friends of Scouting Leadership Division campaign. Elections In 2004, 
Haley ran for the South Carolina House of Representatives to represent District 87 in Lexington County. She challenged incumbent State Representative Larry Kuhn in the Republican primary, the longest-serving legislator in the South Carolina State House. Her platform included property tax relief and education reform. In the primary election, she forced a runoff as Kuhn won just 42% of the vote. She placed second with 40% of the vote. In the runoff, she defeated him 55-45%. She then ran unopposed in the general election. She became the first Indian American to hold office in South Carolina. She was unopposed for re-election to a second term in 2006. In 2008, she won re-election to a third term, defeating Democrat Edgar Gomez 83-17%. Fiscal Policy One of Haley's stated goals was to lower taxes. When Mark Sanford was governor of South Carolina, Haley voted against a proposed cigarette surtax. The revenue from the tax would have been appropriated to smoking prevention programs and cancer research related to smoking. She voted for a bill that raised sales taxes from $0.05 cents per dollar to $0.06 cents per dollar. The bill exempted sales tax on unprepared foods such as canned goods. The same bill also exempts property tax on owner-occupied residential property, except for the taxes due from what is still owed on the property. Education Haley implemented a plan in which teachers' salaries would be based on not only seniority and qualifications, but also job performance, as determined by evaluations and reports from principals, students, and parents. She supports school choice and charter schools. Legislative pensions Haley supports barring legislators from collecting legislative pensions while they're in office. She believes such pensions should be based on only the $10,400 legislative salary instead of the salary plus lawmakers $12,000 annual expense allowance. Immigration Policy Haley has stated that, as a daughter of immigrants, she believes the immigration laws should be enforced. She voted in favor of a law that requires employers to be able to prove that newly hired employees are legal residents of the United States and also requires all immigrants to carry documentation at all times proving that they are legally in the United States. Haley signed an, Arizona-style, law cracking down on illegal immigration in June 2011. The law is the subject of a lawsuit initiated by the United States Justice Department on numerous grounds, including claims the immigration law violates the Supremacy Clause, Rob Godfrey, a spokesman for Haley, said. If the feds were doing their job, we wouldn't have had to address illegal immigration reform at the state level. But, until they do, we're going to keep fighting in South Carolina to be able to enforce our laws. Abortion Haley describes herself as pro-life and has supported legislation to restrict abortion. She has stated, I'm not pro-life, because the Republican Party tells me, I'm pro-life because all of us have had experiences of what it means to have one of these special little ones in our life. Haley has consistently supported bills that give rights to a fetus and restrict abortion, except when the mother's life is at risk. In 2006, as a member of the South Carolina House of Representatives, Haley voted for the penalties for harming an unborn child slash fetus law, which asserted that an act of violence against a fetus is akin to a criminal act against the mother. She also voted for two separate bills that required a woman to first look at an ultrasound and then wait 24 hours before being permitted to have an abortion. In 2016, she re-signed a new state law that bans abortions at 20 weeks of pregnancy. Haley has voted in favor of some bills relating to abortion that were tabled or rejected, including the inclusion of unborn child slash fetus in definition for civil suits amendment prohibiting employment termination due to abortion waiting period amendment, and exempting cases of rape from abortion waiting period amendment. The latter would have allowed specific cases of women to not have to wait the mandatory 24 hours before having an abortion. 2010 Gubernatorial Election On May 14, 2009, 
Haley announced that she would run for the Republican nomination for governor of South Carolina in the 2010 elections. Haley had been persuaded to run by incumbent governor and fellow Republican Mark Sanford. On November 11, 2009, she was endorsed by former Massachusetts governor and GOP presidential candidate Mitt Romney, as well as Jenny Sanford, the incumbent First Lady of South Carolina. She was polling in last place in the GOP race before a surprise endorsement from former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, three weeks before the primary vote. The Republican gubernatorial primary took place on June 8, 2010, and Haley captured 49% of the vote, forcing a runoff election on June 22. Haley won handily in the runoff vote. Haley was elected governor on November 2, 2010, defeating the Democratic candidate. Vincent Sheen 51% to 47%. She is considered the third non-white person to have been elected as governor of a southern state, after Virginia's Douglas Wilder and Louisiana's Bobby Jindal. Lieutenant Governors Four lieutenant governors served under Haley, more than any governor in South Carolina's history. Additionally, Haley, a Republican, welcomed Yancey McGill, a Democrat, to serve as her lieutenant governor after Glenn F. McConnell's resignation. Haley was initially against having a Democrat serve as the second in command to the governor, but she, along with the Senate, eventually agreed otherwise. Economic Policies Upon becoming governor, Haley appointed Bobby Hitt as the state's Secretary of Commerce. Under their leadership, the state announced the recruitment of more than 85,000 new jobs and $21.5 billion in capital investment. In inviting business to move to South Carolina she has said, What I'm saying is, if you come to South Carolina, the cost of doing business is going to be low here. We are going to make sure that you have a loyal, willing workforce and we are going to be one of the lowest union participation states in the country. Confederate flag Before June 2015, Haley supported flying the Confederate flag on the Statehouse grounds. In the immediate aftermath of the Charleston church shooting, Haley did not take a position on removing the flag, saying, I think the state will start talking about that again, and we'll see where it goes. On June 22, Haley called for the removal of the Confederate flag from the Statehouse grounds. She stated, these grounds, the state capital, are a place that everybody should feel a part of. What I realized now more than ever is people were driving by and felt hurt and pain. No one should feel pain. Haley also said, there is a place for that flag. But she added, it's not in a place that represents all people in South Carolina. In July 2015, Haley signed a bill to authorize removing the Confederate flag from the flagpole on the grounds of the South Carolina Capitol. LGBT Issues In April 2016, Haley indicated she would not support legislation introduced by the South Carolina State Senate which would require transgender individuals to use restrooms based on biological sex instead of gender identity. Haley stated, these are not instances that dot you all haven't reported on anything. I haven't heard anything that's come to my office. So when I look at South Carolina, we look at our situations. We're not hearing of anybody's religious liberties that are being violated. And we're, again, not hearing any citizens that feel like they are being violated in terms of freedoms. Haley described such restroom legislation as unnecessary. Israel Haley has been described by South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham as a strong supporter of the state of Israel. As governor of South Carolina, she signed into law a bill to stop efforts of the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. This legislation was the first of its kind on a statewide level. Haley also stated that, nowhere has the UN's failure been more consistent and more outrageous than in its bias against our close ally Israel. Request for tax return disclosure by Donald Trump As governor, in 2016, Haley received extensive press coverage for saying the phrase, bless your heart in response to an attack by GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump. 
Trump had attacked her on Twitter for her call for him to release his tax records. 2014 re-election On August 12, 2013, Haley announced she would seek a second term as governor. She faced a challenge in the Republican primary from Tom Irvin. However, Irvin withdrew and later contested the 2014 gubernatorial elections as an independent. As in 2010, Vincent Sheen of the Democratic Party was once again her challenger. Republican-turned-independent Tom Irvin was also running in early stages of the contest, as well as Libertarian Steve French, and United Citizens Party candidate Morgan Bruce Reeves. The first public debate was held in Charleston on October 14, between French, Irvin, Haley, Reeves, and Sheen. The second public debate in Greenville on October 21, again included all five candidates. A week after the second debate, Irvin withdrew from the race and endorsed Sheen. Haley was re-elected on November 4, 2014, with a 55.9% to 41.3% win, almost tripling her previous margin of victory over Sheen in 2010 gubernatorial elections. Her second term as governor of South Carolina was set to expire on January 9, 2019, but she resigned on January 24, 2017 to serve as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Potential Presidential or Vice Presidential Candidacy In 2012, former Governor Mitt Romney considered her for his vice presidential running mate. In April 2012, Haley said that she would turn down any offer, I'd say thank you, but no. I made a promise to the people of this state. And I think that promise matters. And I intend to keep it. Haley was mentioned in January 2016 as a potential candidate for the vice presidency in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The Economist described Haley as a politician with high approval ratings who possesses a combination of fiscal ferocity and a capacity for conciliation, and stated as a female candidate and ethnic minority she would have appeal. On May 4, 2016, after Trump became the presumptive presidential nominee, Haley denied interest in the vice presidential nomination. Haley was critical of Trump during the election, and was a supporter of Florida Senator and candidate Marco Rubio. When Rubio dropped out of the election, she then supported candidate Ted Cruz. When Trump became the Republican finalist, she said that she would vote for him, but was not a fan. Since Haley became U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, multiple pundits have opined that she could become a possible Republican presidential candidate in the future and could, in fact, win the White House. Trump was said by his staff to be grooming her in October 2017 for a national political role having many private meetings with her on Air Force One after she had befriended his daughter, Ivanka. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?